Okay, so the noise in the background you hear is our vacuum pump because it's giving us a constant supply of vacuum. It's read here about 20 inches of mercury, which is typical of the intake manifold of your uh, vehicle. It's providing the vacuum for this to operate. Obviously, it is likely offering vacuum through some sort of canister or reservoir. But uh, uh, because we have it constantly on, it's just like your engine idling. Now this is the uh, Clear Hooters uh, vacuum operated control device. And what we're using here is an EGR valve. But typical of EGR valves, as you get close to that, you can see it has a, a piston in it. And you can see that the piston just went up and goes down. Okay, so back off here and we'll get a better look. What, what we're doing here is we're confirming the operation of this valve right here, which is also controlled by a bimetallic switch. This bimetallic lever right here lifts and releases a needle valve that operates in this plunger device. The red here indicates the supply of vacuum and the black obviously is going to our valve. So as we turn the camshaft on the uh, adjusting knob here, we can see that the cam activates this tower and lifts the pin, which allows vacuum to go into the system. If I turn it the right direction, that is. And as, as the cam rides up, it lifts the pin, and you can see it's actually opened the valve. Now, it's going to open the valve in a varying degree depending upon the temperature of this bimetallic strip, which is adjustable right here. However, in reality, I think the reason that these particular valves were not very popular is because that's a very critical measurement. Right now, it's opening, for instance, the hot water valve. Now, I turn it down just a little bit, and you notice the valve came down a little. I turn it up a little, the valve goes up just a tiny bit. Turn it down, all the way off, and it seats itself. So it is varying the vacuum to a degree. What that setting is, I can't say. It'll have to be in the vehicle. We have not upset this setting. It's, it's original, it's factory. So more likely than not, it's correct. Now, just very briefly here, we're gonna turn it over and go to the other valve, vacuum supply on the top, and to a, a device, which could be the air conditioning, the hot water valve, we don't know. Once again, uh, in operating its cam, let's go to the right direction here. Okay, now it has lifted the valve, and yes, you can see the valve is going up. In this case, actually, the valve went up a little bit further than the other. I'm turning it down, and look, the valve goes down a little bit. I'm turning it down a little bit more, and the valve goes down further. So again, it is doing its job of varying the height of the uh, pinthole in the valve at, by design. So after more than a year of work for you and for another customer, we've got the Clear Hooters vacuum control valve operating. Thank you for your attention.